there's a very important point, really central to, to life itself. And that is what happened at the splitting of the sea. The Jews leave Egypt. They, they claim that they're going to be gone for three days. Pharaoh gets a report that the Jews are traveling away from Egypt and it's already the third day. So they have no intentions of coming back. So he gets his army together, makes his plans, and he pursues the Jews and he reaches them on the seventh day after they had left Egypt. That's the seventh day of Pesach. The Jews are camped by the, uh, by the water, the Gulf of Aqaba or something, and the Egyptians are approaching from behind and the miracle happens and the water splits. The waters separate into 12 paths. So there were actually uh, 24 walls of water creating 12 paths. The Jews walked between the walls of water on dry land. So not only did the waters separate, but the seabed dried up miraculously, because it would take a long time for that to happen, so that the Jews didn't even get their shoes muddy. Each tribe had its own path, which kind of explains how they got across so quickly. If they, if they were doing it single file, it would take a year for them to get across. There are two million people. So they got across in, 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 tw in groups, and there were 12 of them. And the Torah describes the panic. When the Jews were there with the ocean in front of them, the Egyptians approaching from behind, and the huge cliffs to the right and to the left, which didn't allow any escape in that direction, the Jews panicked. Some of them said, let's just go back. Let's surrender and go back and, uh, and, and submit to the slavery. Another group said, well, no, why, why submit? Let's fight them. We're not good at war. We're not trained at war. But, you know, let's at least go down fighting. Another group said, let's just commit suicide and drown in the ocean. Another group said, it's time to pray. Let's pray for God to help us. God says to Moshe, what's all this tumult? What's all these opinions? What's all these schemes? What they should do is continue to go where they were going. You're on your way to Mount Sinai, so why'd you stop? Go. And Moshe said, you know, uh, there's an ocean here. Someone put an ocean here. We'd love to go. And God said, so go. So Moshe comes to the people and says, God's suggestion is, that you just go to Mount Sinai like you're supposed to. And they said, and what about the ocean? He said, you do what you have to do and everything will turn out well. So Nachshon volunteered to be the first. He jumped into the water and when he was out there until, you know, where the water reached his, uh, his chin, the sea split. What is the moral of that story? You know, we, we always talk about the great miracle of it. What an awesome miracle. 
would have been cool to be there, wouldn't it? Even even the movie Cecil, Cecil B. DeMille had a hard time with the special effects. But that's not the main part of the story. It wasn't the miracle that we should be impressed with. It was the lesson in life. We have to go where we are meant to be. And nothing should change that. If you're going to Mount Sinai where God is waiting for you, you, you don't need to fear anything. Even an ocean will get out of your way. You just have to be on the right path. Everything else will resolve itself. That is a very powerful message. A very empowering message. Which is really very significant because, you know, God comes with all his might and with all his fury, brings 10 plagues against the Egyptians. The Jews didn't lift a finger. They had to do nothing. They were just enjoying the show. Then God does the miracle of miracles and splits the sea into standing walls of water. And again, we would think, yeah, the Jews didn't need to do anything. God is doing it all for us. Isn't that a typical religious message? Just, just rely on God. He'll do it all for you. Doesn't that sound like a pious, high-minded thought? Put all your trust in God. You don't have to do anything. He'll take care of it. But what we're seeing in this story is the exact opposite. The sea split because the Jews walked into the water. It was the, the determination of the people. When they continued on their way to Mount Sinai, that's what caused nature to surrender to the truth. So all of a sudden we're being told, no, God is not going to do it all for you. God will do for you what you can't. But what you can do, you have to do it. This is not a one-sided relationship here. And we cannot be religiously irresponsible. Again, you know, God will do it all. We don't have to do anything. Unhealthy message. Not even a moral message. That God will do it all means you don't even have to be good. That's not a good message. So, the amazing miracle of miracles happens because we are being responsible. Not without us. So even though we know we're going to need a miracle, and only God can perform miracles, but even so, we have to take responsibility for our own behavior. We have to be headed in the right direction. We have to be consistent in our commitment. We have to be strong. We have to be determined to do the right thing. And then the miracle happens. The miracle facilitates our plan. We wanted to get to Mount Sinai. The miracle got us to Mount Sinai. But if we were just sitting back passively, the miracle would not have happened. Because what's the point? The sea will split and you'll sit there on the beach watching? <laughs> what's the point of that? So, 
that's a very central message about Passover because Passover is not the same as passive. You don't just leave it all to God. We partner, we always partner. We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal, it's questions and answers, it's conversation. It's really relaxed, it's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program. There's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, and there's a Wednesday night program. All of it, just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So join us, take a look, click uh, the link below and see which, which of the three suits you best and join us for some enjoyable conversation.